Sweden has decided to go big. The country is taking advantage of the European Commission's visit to inaugurate the continent's first satellite launch site on mainland Europe. It's a big moment. It's a big moment for Europe. It's a big moment for Europe's space industry. And if that isn't enough, Sweden has also announced the discovery of the largest European rare earth mineral deposit, which are essential for the manufacturing of smartphones and electric vehicles. Two important announcements to improve the strategic autonomy of Europe at a time when competitiveness is at stake. The College of European Commissioners were in Sweden to meet the government and set the priorities of the EU Council presidency for the next six months. Competitiveness will be one of the biggest challenges, as Europe aims to give an answer to US President Joe Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which offers generous fiscal incentives to companies who invest in green opportunities on the other side of the Atlantic. Brussels will soon propose new legislation on the matter. What is important for us, and I want to repeat that again, is that with the clean tech sector and all its innovative power that it has, we have a level playing field. We want to compete on quality. That's important. We do not want to compete on subsidies, but on quality. But nobody doubts that the war in Ukraine and its consequences will continue to affect European politics. We will continue to support the European military assistance mission to support Ukraine. No other single task could be more important for the Swedish presidency than this one. The fate of Ukraine is also the fate of Europe. The meeting took place in Karuna, Sweden's northernmost city, and a unique location for an exceptional family photo.